Angie, I have a story for you, okay? Okay, because so, I love J. Cole. Okay. <laughs> Tell the story. I'm excited. Okay, so okay. rapper J. Cole just deleted all of his Instagram posts, which is means we all know one thing now, new music is dropping, right? It okay. Is. So he deleted everything, but then he posted one thing on his Instagram announcing that his new single called Middle Child is coming out tonight at 9 p.m. Now, I said you love the story because I know you love J. Cole. I do love J. Cole. He's one of my favorites. Couple of things yeah. here. Couple of things. Number one, I have anxiety at the thought of erasing everything from my Instagram. <laughs> it's like my only memory of the past, however long. J. Cole has no connection to social media like that. Like, he literally has to work to stay on. Like, he is not, he doesn't care about social media. He deletes everything. But for us, it's, it's exciting that there's new music coming, and um, I haven't heard it. Okay. I'll hear it tonight with everybody else. Um, but it's called Middle Child which I'm not sure if that means like his space in the industry. That's like my weird theory. Maybe it's like, you know, because he's not a senior. He's not like a Jay-Z, or but he's also not a freshman. He's not a Takashi 6 9 or somebody in that space. He's kind of this where he's respected on both sides and he's kind of in that middle space. So maybe that's what it... I could be totally off and it could be totally wrong. But no, but that, that's a good sheer theory. speculation. <laughs> this is my own theory. Or I heard a theory earlier. Somebody said that more than half of the sitting presidents have been middle children. Oh. So maybe it's like some political. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait like till nine o'clock. You like my theory? All right. All right. Jay Z and Beyonce are two of the biggest stars in the world, but they've made avoiding the paparazzi an art form. Now, Carlos, you've discovered their secret, haven't you? As we do at Page Six, we got to the bottom of it. So. Jay Jay-Z and Beyonce, they were out in L.A. and Beverly Hills at Adverse uh, celebrating his good friends Biggs Burke Burke's birthday, and sources told us that they, use, that they use their pals as a decoy so that they can escape the party. Diddy was also there, but Beyonce and Jay-Z, they fled out the back door to avoid paparazzi. Now, Angie, you've known Jay-Z and Biggs for a very long yeah. time. Can you tell us about Biggs for some people who may not even know who, who Biggs is? Well, first is? of all, it's very cool that he was, we love seeing them together if you're a hip-hop fan. You know, Biggs is one-third of the uh, of the Rockefeller, when they started Rockefeller with Jay-Z, Biggs was one third of that. It was Dame Dash, Biggs, and, and Jay. So, so to see them together is a little nostalgic and, and always nice to see. Um, but yes, they should sneak out the back door. They're Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> Everything they do is like the best at it. So they should be the best at avoiding the paparazzi and sneaking out of there. Um, so I wasn't surprised by that at all. That right, seems I mean, like great. every day for them. No, exactly. I mean, but when they lived in New York, I mean, they would do the same thing. I'd be out at, yeah. I would see them at parties too. It's kind of interesting that they were like they know how Los to move. Angelinos yeah. They know how to move around. Well, here's yeah. the thing, though. We all know the rich and famous paparazzi follow them. But if you really think about it, a Saturday night out for any parents is tough. You have to get a babysitter and that yeah. whole thing. But for them. Like, it's yes. a really big deal just to go out to dinner. You oh need my full God, hair and makeup, so true. you need security, you need bodyguards. I had a birthday party a few years ago at a club in New York and they and they both showed up. And you know, it's like one thing for, you, for your friends to come because they come and then they leave, but for them, it's the deal. Like you said, they need a whole entourage, they need security, so I just was like, I, thank you. They were like, eh, it's fine. It's no, it's no, it's no big deal. But because they're so the used, no, because they're used to it. That's how their everyday life is. Mm -hmm. But I love that they show up for mm -hmm. people like that still. Okay. They don't live in a bubble. Because when you're that big of a celebrity, it's very easily, like, you don't want to go outside and you right. wind up living in a bubble. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they live a life. Right, and it shows life. the importance too, of mm -hmm. maintaining those friendships that were there from day one. The yeah. fact that he was at Avra of all places, too. That's a place you do have to sneak out the back door because it's a hot spot in mm -hmm. Beverly Hills. John Bon Jovi also stepping up. Way to go, Bon Jovi. <laughs> he is helping feed people in Jersey. You know, he is from Jersey. Yes, yeah, so well, he has his JBJ Soul Kitchen. It's a restaurant in Red Bank, and he's right. giving away free meals. He gave away free meals to furloughed uh, workers Monday, and over at his Tom's River location, he's doing the exact same thing today. That's great. I was just in the presence of royalty, Real Housewives oh. of New York star Countess Luann, and she was very, very chatty with me. So you guys, I had the best Saturday night. Okay, so Luann is performing. <laughs> I love this show, okay? So Luann is doing her cabaret show mm -hmm. here in New York. This was the first one in New York for the beginning of the year. It's called Countess Countess and Friends, and I have to tell you, I think a lot of people know that Luann has a cabaret show, but they don't really know if it's the real deal or not. It's the real deal. It was a really? phenomenon. It was so much fun. It's hugely popular. It was totally sold out. It was at Feinstein's in New York. 
You yeah. actually, I mean, you wanted me to come too, but those tickets uh, are expensive. They're I mean, they're like, much, like, they're like $150. Yeah, so tickets are over like, $100, but I have to tell you, people do not mind. Not only is it selling out, they're adding dates. So she's doing a whole national good tour. For her. It's really good for her. And she's so fun. She sings, she plays the bongos, she talks. And I actually went backstage after I got a chat with her for a bit. And the first thing I said was, you look amazing. I mean, really, she looks so fit and healthy. And she told me she's hitting the gym. She's been working out on her own with, uh, by herself and really taking it seriously. But she also was very chatty with the audience. During the show, she did a little Q&A and interacted with the people that were there to see her. And she did reveal that next season, season 11, there's going to be a new housewife. Ooh. Now, she wouldn't say who it was, but she the said, team. she's my friend. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's always good for her. She's like, it bones well for me if the new housewife is my friend. They always you know? start as friends. And we have to see by the end of the season real. if they're still friends. So you're getting, yeah. you're getting Luann singing, plus you're getting a real housewife dish. That's actually a pretty good deal if you're, if you're a real housewife. It is and for a Saturday night, she's very yeah. committed it's to what good. she does. Yeah, and she did give some dish. She said that her and Bethany fight a lot in the next season. And she also was very candid about her time in rehab in jail. She sang about it and joked about it. But the other thing that she didn't shy away from was Tom, her ex, of course. But I have to tell you, she didn't even have to be shady because the audience were such Luann super fans. Fans, they were shady for her. They were like, Tom, don't get near us. Don't get near us. So wow. it was a lot of fun. Wow. Well, we're glad to see her back on track and doing her thing in the cabaret show. Now, I reached out to Bravo, and they actually say that there is no new housewife for next season, so we'll have to wait and see.